Hey there, welcome back to Turntable Guy. On the bench today, we've already got a dismantled Techniques SL1300. This is the Mark I edition. Uh, I want to just go over um, something that is pretty difficult to find uh, on the internet and on YouTube as far as uh, a common problem with these tables, which is a fast dropping uh, cueing arm. So when you lure your, your cueing, the arm just drops like a stone onto your table and uh, could damage your stylus. The uh, reason for that is a, um, a silicone oil that uh, is applied at the factory and it, uh, it, it acts as a dampening for the uh, piston rod that goes up and down. Uh, this is the oil here. It's a silicone damping fluid for tone arms. Um, I picked it up from this company, which is Turntable Basics, and the viscosity of this is 300,000 CST. I believe you can also get it in 500,000 CST. Uh, this is also used in transmissions for model cars. Okay, so it's, it's uh, easily and readily available. So, let's get at it. Um, this is what I would consider to be a complex job. If you are not, you know, handy, uh, do not do not attempt this. It is uh, it is a, a difficult job. There's a lot of little fiddly bits, as you're going to see. Um, this particular turntable is rather complex. The 1300, 1400, and 1500 um, are different than the 16, 17, and 18 in the fact that. Uh, there is a much meatier mechanism here to remove. The uh, 16, 17, 18, the tone arm just comes off, and I've, I think I've done a few videos on those ones where you just remove the tone arm with three screws. This is quite a bit different, so um, we're gonna we're gonna go over this one um, and uh, hopefully save a few of these turntables from going to the dump because their arms are dropping too hard. Okay. All right, let's begin. So um, we're gonna have to remove the entire mechanism here okay and it is it, it's a job it's laborious um, and it, there's quite a few screws to remove the 1300 is solid aluminum plinth um, which is similar to the 16 17 and 18 you know I uh, really should start by removing these uh, knobs. They just pop right out like this. So you want to remove your uh, start stop, your repeat, and your record sides selector switch. Uh, you know what? Let's take off the anti-skate too, if it comes off. It might not. All right, let's let's not mess with that yet. I'm just trying to remember if there's anything else we need to remove here. I think this is just the yeah, that's just the auto return. Okay. I've done this before. I ha I have this turntable myself. Um, but it's not something you do very often. So you're kind of along for the ride with me on this one. If you hear the dripping in the background, yes, it is my sump pump going crazy again. We're getting loads and loads of rain where I live, which kind of sucks because I just went on uh, vacation here. And the majority of it looks like it's going to be in rain. And this protects your audio cables. This is the, uh, the shield, super heavy duty metal. Let's see if we've released yet. We're getting there. 
The reason you really have to be careful here is um, the cables remain attached during this and we're going to try to remove this main piece here. So there is uh, one of the bearings here too, bearing cap. I'm just going to take this off. I'm just going to keep those screws separate. There's no, uh, no lubricant left on the bearing, as you can see here. It's probably never been lubricated. Yes, something did go flying across the room there. Oh, ground cable. What we're trying to do is just get at the arm, right? And uh, this is not being very cooperative right now. I'm trying to see what's holding it back. It's not the motor. may very well be some, there we go it's just a wire so it doesn't look like I needed to remove that bearing cap okay so now we have this kind of separated um, in, the proper way to do this would be to unsolder the uh, tone arm cables but that is just a little bit too much work I, I don't know. I'm contemplating it. Is there some way to... This is what we need to get at. Here's our, our, our piston right here. Just want to make sure this, there's a little bit of tension on those lines which I don't like. I'm just trying to see if there's some way we can turn this so we can work on it. This is not looking good. Hmm. Oh dear. Well, I think we're going to have to remove these wires. No use screwing around. If you're going to do the job, you got to do it right. Like I said, this is not an entry level or beginner's type of repair. This is complex. You could royally screw up your turntable by doing this. Okay, we're going to want to remove this tape here. Because you're going to be desoldering the tone arm cables. Okay, here they are. Or maybe, I wonder if we can get a little bit more. A little bit more. I don't remember desoldering these cables last time I did this. Maybe we can get a little bit more slack now by just tucking these up. Let's see how that is. Just enough that we can work on that blood. Yeah, you know what? That might be just enough. There's, these are not under any kind of tension. As long as we don't pull this over too much, we can get at this piston now. And see, you can see that, well, if you can't see it, the grease is coming out the bottom, right? So it's it's gravity, right? Eventually, after 40 or 50 years, these turntables are going to start to lose their fluids and so forth. So the only, what I'm worried about is I'm going to have to go back up and remove a screw. I guess we can put this back and gently do it. So like I said, you're along for the ride with me here. And uh, 
what we're going to do first, there is a C clip slash E clip here. So you're going to want to remove that. Hold this down because there could be a spring that goes flying out. Okay. So make sure you, you, you're holding on to this washer here. I'm sorry if my hands are in the way, but okay. So here we go. And it's, yeah, the spring is ready to explode. So keep your hands down on this. And you're going to remove a washer and the spring. The spring, um, we're going to make sure it goes back in the same position, even though I think it is equal on both sides. So we'll just put that aside for safekeeping. Now the piston is free, okay? But we have to release it from the top now. Maybe we could have released it first. Like I said, I don't 100% remember. And it's going to be a, I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to be a pain in the ass to get this plate back in. So be ready for that as well. There's three holes that you got to get these controls through. Okay, so it's down. So now, remember, be very careful with these. These are like microscopic. That's what carries your audio signal and your ground. And if they break, it's a pain in the ass. It's not saying that you can't fix it, but you don't want to fix it, trust me. Okay, so let's come back up here. I'll remove the, uh, the cover just so you can see. So we have a screw where the arm lift mechanism is. Oh, I can turn off my soldering iron. All right, just a regular flathead screwdriver. Push down on the mechanism, and you're going to release that screw by pushing down, and then just counterclockwise all the way out. Undo the screw. You can move your arm up and take the uh, the arm lift mechanism out. Okay, put it aside for safekeeping. Oh, just so you know, there is a spring in here as well. Make sure that doesn't go anywhere. All right, so now we're released. I probably could have done that first. I probably could have released that first. That way we weren't uh, having to flip the table back. So now I've done more work than I had to. All right, here we go. So we're back over again. Grease. Grease, grease, grease. All right, so let's gently lift this again. Try to keep tension off of there. I want to make sure you can see this. Maybe I can zoom in a little bit for you here. All right, here's your, uh, here's the piece we're talking about. So I believe we're, we should be able to pull this down now. Oh my God, it comes up through the top. Oh dear, all right, or does it? Like I said, you are with me here, along for the ride. Uh, Gonna be a retaining clip or something. Maybe we can. Um, I think we can remove. Come on, baby, don't do this to me. You know what this is coming down to, right? All right, here we go. This repair is really not worth doing unless you remove your cables. So I am going to desolder the tone arm cables. I want this done correctly. What are you guys seeing right now?
Okay, let's uh, let's desolder these cables. I don't want to mess around. It's very simple. You don't need a lot of heat. Soldering iron. Okay. Melt. Remove. I don't like this uh, table. It doesn't have a, uh, a board where there's separate connections for input and output. The uh, RCA cables and the, the uh, tone arm cables are on the same pad, so you can actually release one. There's quite a few grounds on this as well. There's two here. There's the right channel positive. And finally, our two grounds. Come on, tape, get out of there. Pain in the ass. Kind of want to reuse this tape. grounds okay that's it oh dear well now we can pull this off pull these through and get this out of the way sorry that couldn't be easier but uh, what can you do right so the question becomes why don't you want to come out what is holding you in? Clip on the other side, perhaps? Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna, I'm gonna remove these, uh, the lift mechanism. screws looks like seeing this yeah. I just, I just hate working when these things are dangling around. Just, uh, it, it frightens me. It really does. Okay, I've got it. Come on, baby. Oh, I see. I see what's going on here. Uh, do we need to remove that? Maybe. Oh, that'll help. That's your anti. That's your anti skate spring there. Something doesn't want to come out here. We might need to remove the anti skate spring. I can't get this released. Okay, next. You'll have to release the anti skate spring. Big screw here. Bad screwdriver. Thinner. Okay. So release your anti skate spring. This is how it goes in. And we'll just, uh, it's, there's three little notches, and it looks like it's attached to the first, the furthest one. Okay. Just like that. So just put that aside, the way it goes. As long as you remember where everything goes, you should be okay. Grease. Grease. Now, this should come out. Aha, 
Got it. I think. Well, at least we got this part out. What's holding this puppy in here? There we go. There it is. Voila. The part. It goes underneath the actual uh, arm lifter lever. So as you can see here, there's three notches. One, two, and three. They are completely devoid of grease right now because it's all leaked out the bottom. All right, so what you want to do, like, like some guys recommend cleaning this with alcohol. You don't have to do that. Just make sure it's you know clean. Okay. And now, what you're going to do is you're going to get your silicone grease and you are going to fill these three crevices with the grease. Just like that. Just roll it around and fill them. Don't worry about if it's messy. Once you put it back in the cylinder, it'll even itself out. Okay, so just like that. You can put a lid here, it doesn't matter. There you go. Replenished grease. Like you'll buy a tube of this stuff and it'll last, you know, forever. Alright, so there you go. Perfect. Can you see that? Anyway, that's what it does. So, and it goes into this cylinder, right? Like this. So it goes into that cylinder. And that cylinder sits there. So now you need to put this back. Now, I think what I'm going to do is just grab it by the edge here, like that, and get it back under. There's this little black thing here. So let's get it under, like that. So it's sticking up the top of the turntable. And grab your, grab your cylinder here, or your, there we go, and just push it down. It's flat. Oh, get your uh, anti-skate spring out of the way. Just like that. There we go. Beautiful. I think we can put our three screws back in. Won't hurt anything. So right now it's... Uh, you know, when you put when you first put it in, a little bit of the grease is going to squeeze out the back side. It's not a big deal. It's not going to go anywhere. I mean, in another 30 years, it might uh, it might squeeze out again. You might have to do this again, right? So just leave that arm aside. Get your last screw in. Uh, a smaller screwdriver for this one. It's in a bit of a bad spot here. There we go. That's it. So it's back in now. So now we have to put our anti-skate spring back on. Remember, it was the last hole. I know you can't see that, but there's three holes here. It's one furthest away. Just grab the spring, put it in, fling it across. God, this is fiddly. I hope you have good eyes when you're doing this because I can't see shit up close anymore. That great, you know, far away vision, but my near vision is garbage now. So we just put that in there, like that. Come on, there we go. And you just want to slide this back under here. And there's a post for the screw. Flat screwdriver. Button that sucker down. Voila! Man, there's a lot of grease. Okay. Let me zoom out a little bit here. Okay. Alright, so you remember these parts? We had that spring, we had a washer, and the E-clip, right? So if you can reach under the top, see how you can push that 
the cylinder back up or down or upside down here. Get your spring. Alright. And this this is the nasty part, right? Because it's gonna want to go flying all over the place. Get your washer. Alright, and you have to hold that down because you've got to get that e-clip in there. And this is the part that scares the hell out of me because if you screw it up, bye-bye parts. There, done. Done, done, done. Yeah, baby. There we go. Nice. All right. I think that's all we need to do. Um, we'll, we'll put this, uh, we'll put the actual arm lifter mechanism back when we put everything back together because um, I am most concerned about obviously these, uh, these tone arm cables, okay? So, let's try to line this up as best as we can. We're gonna get our cables through. This is extremely fiddly, okay? Just bunch them up together see if you can get them through the mechanism you're gonna have a total of six four signal cables and two grounds and then you have to line up those three controls okay pull these through as best you can there we go taut but don't tug on them Fantastic. Um, I'm just going to put a couple uh, retaining screws just to hold this mechanism down. I don't want it flying around or moving while I'm uh, soldering. Let's just put a couple in here just to hold it down. There. All right. So now we're going to solder. Let's, uh, let's zoom in for the soldering. Here we go, one, two, three, all right. This is strain relief for the cables here. There's our grounds and our signal cables. Grounds out of the way so I don't get confused. You can twist these. Okay, so um, blue, white, green, red. blue. Make sure my iron's getting hot this time. I'm not going to apply any more solder. If I can get it attached with what's there, I'm going to be happy with that.
white. I'm going to put a little bit more solder on the green. There's not enough on the pad here. Green. And finally red. Keep your iron tip clean. Red. And finally now our grounds. Two of them here. One obviously grounds a tone arm, and one grounds probably the chassis. This is a bit fiddly. It's a bit of a mess on here. And ground. There we go. Okay, so they're back on. So now what you want to do is you want to kind of pull them taut like this. God, the grease on this thing is just... This is good grease, by the way. You do not need to clean this. It's excellent. It's 50 years old. It's still very, very slick. All right, so grab your wires here. You're going to want to bring them over and tuck them in here. All right down and then you're going to want to bring this piece of tape if it's still any good uh, see now it doesn't want to come up eh? before it was bugging the shit out of me there we go so keep those tight like that just bend it over like that and what it does yeah of course it's not going to stick right you just want those wires you need the, the you need some slack here, right? So when the arm's moving left and right. So let's uh let's nuke that old tape because it's it's useless now. It was just there to drive me nuts. Careful with the razor blade. Just some electrical tape will do the job. You just want just enough slack so when the arm's moving around, it doesn't uh, doesn't bind up. Good enough. All right, that's it, folks. That's how you uh, repair the mechanism for queuing on these uh, 1300, 1400, and 1500. Um, this table's in for a complete service. Uh, I'm just going to clean the pots on it, um, install a new uh, Ortofon cartridge for the guy, and uh, send it on its way. Uh, if you have any questions, please, uh, by all means, leave them in the description underneath. I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. And uh, other than that, as always, I thank you for watching and uh, have yourself a great day.